we just had the coolest day ever. We did. <laughs> we were gonna do a lot of recording while we were actually there, but uh, it was a little, a little restrictive and we were trying to really pay attention and learn as much as we possibly could. Yeah. But... Um, we did get some good B-roll though. We did, yeah. yeah. So we'll show some of the B-roll. So we made an appointment like two days ago, three days ago, um, at Golf Galaxy to Golf get Galaxy. fitted for irons and drivers, right? Because you have to select uh, a time slot for the irons and a time slot for the driver. They are two separate different things. So weird that things. they do it that way. Yeah. Um, which I guess makes sense. You get an I hour for each. If somebody wants to only do a driver. Or I guess it's an hour and a half for each. I think it's supposed to be an hour for each, hour time slot. So we booked four time slots, uh, two, two for, for each, each of us, of us. <laughs> uh, a driver, driver, irons, irons. Um, I'm telling you, like, I thought I knew at least a little bit about golf. <laughs> turns out, <laughs> turns out I'm an idiot when it comes to selecting the kind of clubs. I was expecting just to walk in there. I really didn't even know what to expect. Yeah, we really had no idea what to expect. Yeah. Um, like I thought they were, I thought it was really mostly about the length. Yeah, me too. Like I thought it was making length. them longer or shorter. I didn't realize yeah. there was a lot of other things. Shaft flexibility and head position and I don't even know all the things that they <laughs> talked about. All but, the things. Yeah. So uh, let me just start out by saying if you are a, I would say we're like below mid-level players. We're On not- a scale of one to five. With five being Tiger Woods. Mm, we're a one. No. I was going to say <laughs> no. we're a two. I would and say, one being like complete yeah. newbie. Sure. I would um, say we're at a two. Yeah, I would say a two. But not anymore. Not anymore. We're I feel like I'm a one. Threes. But we're going to be three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, after going there, it feels like we're, uh, I feel a lot more educated on it. Yeah. Um, all the numbers, the stats, I took pictures of that stuff as well. Um, of all, all of my stats. And it was very interesting to kind of just go through the whole process with them. Um, so back to my original thought, I wanted to do some research before, cause that's kind of what I do is like, I research on YouTube and look at reviews and try to find out, uh, how to figure out which one to go to. Cause it was either PGA tour or Golf Galaxy. Golf Galaxy. And I think there's some other ones in there, like up in Colorado, there's like some, Golf Tech, and I'm not sure where else Golf Tech is at, but they're pretty amazing as well. Golf Tech, Camper Wave. Camper Wave. Yeah. Um, so I, we just took a chance on it. We decided to go in there, and one of the first questions I asked the guy was, and his name was Dan, right? Mm -hmm. um, at Dan Golf Martinez. Galaxy. Yes. Was uh, it Dan or David? He's a Lobo. He is a Lobo. Um, I think it was Went Dan, to UNM. Dan Martinez. Dan. It was either Dan or David. We apologize for not getting it. It was Dan. It was Dan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, one of the first questions I asked, like, what's your experience? What is what is your background tell in us, golf? Tell us your history with yes. the game of golf. How okay. long have you been playing? Et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> he's been playing since he was a child, and he's got 20 plus years okay. experience of uh, working in working the golf in it, industry. And he's got seven years, seven as, years a fitter. as a fitter, which I was like, okay. Wow. Okay. So we felt like we were in good hands. Yeah. We were definitely in good hands. As the time went on, um, he really wanted to teach us, but he's like, that's not what this is. And we could get into this and we could do so much more teaching. And he's like, you guys, you guys are, he, he gave us a lot of confidence. And I guess that's what you have to kind of do as a, as a uh, fitter. You have to give people confidence that you're getting the right club or else mm -hmm. it just, you just have to be right. Well, cause a lot of golf is mental. Yeah. A lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> so. So one thing you do see is that very the cool. line on the ball is yeah. dead straight. It yeah. means we're going straight into the ball. Yeah. From the inside. Okay. Um, hmm. Then the club was going in like that. Right. If that line was tilted this way, that means the club was going in like that. But now we know that it's going in straight because it's doing a straight up and down line. Good. Wow. Dude, that was crazy. If you haven't noticed by now, we love golf. Uh, it's, it's a passion of ours. We're trying to narrow in on 
uh, a few different things in life, golf being one of those. <laughs> to focus our energy yes. and money. Yeah. We can't be golfers and skiers and tennis players <sighs> and bikers and yeah. he would love that. We don't have I the would. time or the money to yeah. invest in all of those things. But as my smart lady once said, um, if you're trying to chase after 10 different things, uh, you're not going to be able to put your heart into all of them. But if you chase after two, three things in life, you can focus your energy on those. Uh, and I think that's uh, very apparent at this point. So, oh boy. It, it may is. have some barking. <laughs> so, um, one of the first questions they're going to ask you is, you know, what, how is your golf game? So, you know, having an understanding of kind of how you play is good. Don't go into this rusty, like, don't be a spring chicken, I guess I'd call it. You know, like, don't be, uh, it's been a long winter, I haven't played all winter, I'm going to go in there, because you will be hitting a lot of balls. I think I took uh, over oh gosh, 100 so and shots. almost, probably almost 200 shots, um, which is way more than, like, playing an 18 rounds of golf. Even hitting a large bucket of balls, you don't hit that yeah. many balls, I feel like. Yeah. So, I here's my advice, uh, if I was to do, it over again, do this over again. I would say to um, maybe head up the driving range a couple of days. <laughs> I would say, yeah, three times go to the driving range, go play a round of golf the week prior. Uh, so you're just, your muscles aren't just like fresh. Um, and be consistent with your, like, going to the driving range, just be consistent. Don't try to kill it. Just try to get your swing to be a normal, normal swing. Does that make sense? Sure. Sure. That would just be my, if I was to do it over again. So, I know I'm doing a lot of talking. Do you want to do this? No, no, you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are going to ask you like what your preference is for a uh, type of club, like um, brand. So if you have one in mind, um, I went in there and I was like uh, Callaway, uh, um, I almost said Top Flight. Taylor Made. Taylor Made and Ping. Um, Those else? were the three. Those were the you, three. You didn't say any others. Yeah. That was it. Um, he pretty much just tailored to those three. He's, he's like, those are the, the top three. So, and I was like, I kind of knew they were the top three. There's Nike Golf and there's some other ones out there that are probably just as good. Um, but the variety was great. It was, it was good. You don't have to try 30 different club heads. You don't have to try a bunch of different. So it's, it's good. Sorry, there's a cat, cat rolling around on its back over there. It was, was funny. By it. Yeah, I saw it too. I was like, what's that? Yeah. Um, so that was like another question is like, what, what do you prefer? Because uh, having something nice in your hand that you're going to see visually is also just as important as how well it performs. So, and I kind of figured that out right away because I already had it kind of in my head which one I wanted. Um, but then it kind of backfired on me because I thought I was going to get a Sim 2, the, the new club from uh, TaylorMade. Um, and it turns out that um, Ping mm -hmm. was a lot more forgiving uh, it felt so much better. It just felt mm -hmm. right. Um, so I went with the ping. So that's a sweet looking club. I did go with the ping. It's like murdered. Four. I know it's like a. It's like a club. black mat. It's the uh, uh, the 425, which is their new. But uh, I mean, the thing is just it's bad looking. It's pretty. It's pretty amazing. I haven't shot with this yet. I shot with now. one of those too, and the Callaway was better for me, but. Yeah. I was kind of sad because I like that one a lot, the way that it looks. Yeah. So they start with the club head. They start with this first. Then they move to how fast you're shooting and how much flex you need um, for the shaft. And then they also, at the very end, they'll, they'll measure your uh, grip. So um, I thought that was very interesting is how you grip it um, and how much it actually... Uh, All needed a jumbo grip. I needed a jumbo. Because you got some big this old hands. This is like the thickest one they made, so... And I needed um, just a regular. Yeah. I thought it was very interesting. See, if you have small hands, they will have a smaller grip for you because it matters. Like it how much matter. you're gripping this thing matters. So if your thumb, fingers are touching and pushing into like your, digging your, into your palm of your hand, of your... that's a problem. So um, I did get blisters today because I took some skin off at some point. So um, another good reason to go out and practice and practice and practice uh, so that you develop calluses and you're not hurting yourself because at the, the last last like five hits I was in some pain so another word of advice for you about so you as a female perspective as what advice. they do just to explain a little bit about what they do yeah. is that you hit with your clubs mm. and you hit like I don't know it was like six or seven shots 
and then you know some of them are you know throwaways that they delete and then but he gets like a general sense of where you're hitting yeah and then he starts adding in like the different club face and then the different shaft and then he and then you hit again six or seven times and then you compare the two right so that's kind of how it worked and they test your swing speed and the ball spin and the accuracy and the smash factor yeah. i still don't even know what that was but <laughs> it sounded cool and then of course the distance right and i mean the biggest change for me personally is that we discovered that my clubs were way too short yes like it was this is cinnamon's old club it's a visa and this is the big bertha look at the difference in club length I think we just bought her some midget clubs or something. <laughs> Still mind blowing to me. They were probably a good six inches too short. Because I've always thought that my clubs are too long. <laughs> because I'm just a short person. I'm only five four. Yeah. Um, but he changed. So he put me not in a ladies club. Actually, I'm in a, a men's senior. So I get grandpa clubs. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the stiffness of the shaft. Yeah. Um, and then lengthwise, she's standard, in a longer, longer standard length. Normal standard length, yeah. Um, but not the female mm -hmm. uh, length of a club. Right. It's, this is she's got all male clubs, which is yeah. I never would have guessed. I, I never would have thing, like even known yeah. that. But like instantly, so I hit some shots on my seven, and then I hit again with the clubs that he gave me. And uh, I think it went up like, I think I went from 80, 84 yards to like yeah. 112. Yeah. Like that was the difference amount of just yardage. by changing essentially the length of the club. Yeah. Wild. Um, and then on the driver, I'm also an immense driver, I think. Yeah, you are. Um, and she got the Callaway. I almost got to 200 yards on a drive 198 this is a beautiful beautiful club so first of all the, <laughs> look at the that so patriotic super cool right <laughs> it's like so Captain she got America. the big bertha callaway um and this is their their new um what's it called the the b21 so big bertha b21 um and all these little adjustments here i don't understand them entirely yet i know ones for like loft and pitch and all that cool stuff um these are calibrated for us mm -hmm. so just grabbing a driver off the shelf, um, it might work out for you, but knowing the science behind these things is like... It really does matter. It does. It mattered a lot more than I really thought that it would. And yeah. Yeah. It was very educational, very enlightening, yes. very exhausting. <laughs> it was pretty exhausting. Um, we don't get the clubs for another five or six weeks. They have to order them. So that's kind of unfortunate. I also yeah. got a hybrid. Yeah. Um, so she decided to go with a, uh, what was your irons? You five and My irons six, are six through six sandwich. Six through sandwich. We did, actually did pay, pay for extra for an extra sandwich, but we wanted to have a matching set. Um, and then she got a hybrid. This is a four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the four, 22 degree. Um, and, she and did I was really actually well hitting it this. okay. I don't really hit these clubs very well, but yeah. um, I hit it okay yeah. a few times. And so I think I just need to practice with this club specifically so that I can get a longer shot off of the uh, off the fairway. Yeah. But I mean, essentially, if you know, if I was able to hit my seven. Okay. <laughs> nice. Oh sure. Yeah. Yeah. Our neighbor's gonna go throw our trash. That's nice of them. Yeah. Is he like, what are you doing? Or what are oh, yeah, is that you? Go you some golfing today? Oh, nice. Man, our viewers. So friendly. They're the best, right? Yeah. Ugh. Um, I forgot I was saying something about... You were talking about. Um, we don't have them yet. It'll take time oh, yes. to get them. Yep. So, uh, yeah. uh, just Taylor made is on a, like a five to six to seven week back uh, backlog. Mm -hmm. um, and since, you know, 
for the most part, you're probably not going to get the clubs that are there. You could ask just for the clubs that are there, but um, they may not be the, the correct ones for you. Mm -hmm. So just kind of know that you're not going to be leaving with the clubs. We did leave with the drivers. Um, and the hybrid club. And the hybrid. I decided not and to get a hybrid. I did. <laughs> Another, I needed a blue hat. He always I didn't a have hat. a blue hat, so I had to get a Matthews. Just a side hat. note, the other day we were shopping somewhere, or somewhere, and they had the fun little beach hats. And oh, yeah. Paul goes, you should get a hat. And I said, I have a hat. <laughs> and he's like, I don't understand you. <laughs> she's, she's so amazing. This lady, I'm telling you. Ugh. It was pretty funny, though. Yeah. I have a hat, and I like it. I it's know. a great hat. I don't need another one. So. <laughs> but anyway, um, so um, biggest insight from today's adventure, getting fitted for golf clubs. Man. Um, I, I feel like I want one of those machines that tells you your distance, tells you your loft. $1, well, yes, the ones at Golf <laughs> Galaxy. Galaxy are like $30,000. You can buy some that are a lot cheaper. You're going to get what you pay for, though, because they might miss a lot of balls. Even the one we were hitting on still missed a few balls. Um, so. And I say we should just go play golf. Yeah. But knowing, like, one of the biggest uh, takeaways from this is, like, knowing that the 7-iron is going to go 160 yards. Well, that's me. what I was talking about. Yeah. So, like, sorry. No, that's good. My drive will go almost 200. Yep. And then if my 7 goes 120, 120, that's... I should be able to get on the green in two. Yeah. Yep. So kind of just knowing which club is which, because I, I was I was like, I mean, I could literally play with a driver, a seven iron, a pitching wedge, a and putter. a putter. Like before, that's the only four clubs I would need. I just <laughs> smack <laughs> Marvin. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Marvin, come here. Marvin. <laughs> Marvin, stop it. Mar hey. Come here. Look at him. He's I'm like sure. on his tippy toes. That's how I am. Marvin. I can reach over the fence. <laughs> okay. So usually I would have played with those four clubs and now that I'm kind of like learning that a seven iron is supposed to go about 165, like I'm smacking it like I should, mm -hmm. it should go within a four yard range, right? So I can I can calculate it a lot better now. I, th I feel like I'm a lot better. Once I figure in, I can dial it in, mm -hmm. then I should be able to be like, okay, it's a hundred yards to the hole. I'm gonna use a nine because a nine is gonna get me right at about a hundred yards or whatever. Before I used to just smack a seven light or heavy or whatever, because I love the seven. I don't know why. It just, it feels nice. It's a very nice balanced club. Another thing that they discovered about Paul's swing is that he was very much swinging his irons different yeah. than his driver, yeah. which obviously you're gonna have a little bit of a different, but he said that he was really, shy like shy, hesitant timid on the like afraid irons. of the iron shot yeah and the the driver shot was like just killer significantly different and so he's like yeah. hit this ball like you're gonna hit it and even put it on like a tee but it was like this really? far off the grass and he's like hit it now and i was like okay and i just because i just got done with the driver so i hit it just like i would a driver and he's like there it is mm -hmm. there's your seven it was 167 yards um, he's like, you're getting the perfect loft, the perfect angle, the perfect, what was it called? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that word you said earlier, that was like this, 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 um, anyway, smash efficiency, factor. smash factor. There it is. <laughs> That's to give me the theme of this is the smash factor. <laughs> I don't think all of the, uh, uh, um, different software has like smash factor and they've got different things like How approach you know? and, you don't know. well, just, I haven't heard that term before oh, in okay. other gotcha. videos that I've watched. So. Um, so I guess the moral of the story here is do your research on where you want to go, but, uh, you're probably not going to go wrong as long as you, um, call ahead and ask them like, who's going to be taking care of me and just kind of ask what their, uh, history, what their background, background is, what their, their history. Um, cause I mean, there's a lot of PGA tour professionals out there that, that will do that. And people that have been doing this a long time, um, and they get annual training and they get lots of training for this stuff. So I can attest to the Golf Galaxy. I really can't attest to anything else, but I didn't find anything anywhere on uh, YouTube about uh, Golf Galaxy. So that's gonna be probably the title of this for a Golf Galaxy. So if you're gonna go to Golf Galaxy, um, you'll be able to uh, oh hear from us gosh. anyway, so. She has the french fries container. Nice, <laughs> pretty adorable. <laughs> so it's empty. 
we had French fries. I would do this very early on in my golf game, again, if I if I had a chance to do it again. Um, it is going to cost you a little bit of money. I think just the uh, the fittings were $100 a piece. Um, so initially they came in and they charged us $400, 100, $200 for me, you know, one for the driver, one for her driver, one for my irons, one for her irons. Um, but then you get that money back when you purchase something from them. So even if it's only a driver, you'll get that money back at the end. Um, cause they'll credit you whatever you're spending. So if you spend uh, $500 on a driver, you're going to get that $400 back. We decided to go with all the clubs. Um, so we spent significantly more than that, but, um, we're going to have these clubs for another probably 10 years. Um, that was another question he asked or that I asked is how often should you change your clubs? And his recommendation was, uh, for drivers, it's not as important. Um, because one, you're not hitting it more than 18 times on a, or less on a, um, normal day of golf. And, uh, the technology for drivers is, I guess, different than the irons. So he said, uh, definitely changing your irons out every five years. -ish. I think he said irons so four to seven, five years, four to five driver, two to three years. Mm. So because the technology backwards. advances yeah. to the point where yeah. it actually matters. Yeah. Where you're going to notice a difference. Yeah. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, and you can always resell your, your clubs. If you are, you know, spent a thousand dollars on a set of clubs, you could maybe recoup some of that back later on. Yeah. For um, newbie players who yeah. I don't know I'd have bought a, a used We've set of Callaways or something. Terrible clubs for yeah. a really long time. We got ours from Amazon. We've so. been fine. I mean, and they've been they've been okay. Yeah, it's been fine. But it's time for an upgrade, and it's time to kind of get more serious about golf. Uh oh. Uh, not more serious, I but know, more because I don't want to get serious about golf. No, like, we have so much fun. My handicap is yeah, such and such, because I'm not really into that yet. Uh, maybe I will someday. All right, so that about does it for this video. If you have any questions, please give them in the comments below. I'm sure that I will figure out the answer for <laughs> we'll you. We'll find out answers for you. If I have it, because I have this guy's email address. I can email him questions. Uh, I can ask him if I can post his email or his contact information. But uh, one of the best advices for you is find your own uh, professional and ask him questions or her. <laughs> but if you have questions, you can yes. put them in the, in the chat below. Ask questions. Have you been to a fitter? Yeah. What was your experience, was your experience? like? Tell mm -hmm. us. Tell um, us all the things. Yeah. So I hope you found it helpful. Yeah. And uh, it was super helpful for us. So yeah. we know that kind of seeing the experience a little bit might be helpful if you are looking into that as well. So hopefully you did find it helpful. And make sure you stay sub or subscribe if you're not. Hit the like button. It really yep. helps us all those fun things yep. that you get told to do by every person on YouTube. <laughs> do them here too. You know what the things that they think you, you know do the thing. thing yeah. Just do that thing. Exactly. So. Okay. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, love all of you.